Woody's house, right? Well, I've got Ollie and Taylor Mumro, right? Here, making bath bombs. To, to me, this is like having Arsene Wenger doing kick-ups in the front row. Right, this, you know, Mick Jagger singing happy birthday. This is a great moment. Ah! Uh, right, man, come to Woody's house to make Yeah. Bombs. So, dude, I'll let you take over. I was gonna come in, like the Matrix. Thanks for letting me use your kitchen, man. I do, man. Thanks for, I do, I can't wait to see this. I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be fun. Let's do this. So what are you doing, dude? So, uh, what are we so I'm making a little emulsion of water, vegetable, glycerin, cacao, butter, share butter, coconut oil, uh, pomegranate oil, argan oil, avocado oil, rosehip oil. So this is your... So like a massive olive oil, massive concoction of different oils. Nice. And that's all mixed into here, and the CBD oil infused into there as well. So mixing that up a little bit, you want to make sure all the oils are mixed. So you've got your bicarb, your Epsom salt, and your citric acid. So you've got about uh, two parts bicarb for one part, Epsom for one part citric. You mix them all together. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to try and get all the lumps broken down because the lumps will cause you to have the hump at a later date. I use mainly oils and butters because I want to have a nourishing bath. That's what I want to give. I want it to be an enjoyable bath experience. I want it to be a moisturizing, nourishing, revitalizing bath experience beyond the CBD. That's what I want from all of my bath bombs, you know. I don't like to really use coverings. Most of the bath bombs I make are actually white. Plus it looks beautiful. Like a white bath bomb looks lovely when it's done. I've had that problem with them. You know, I try to do black and gold bath bombs for, for Woody's, but it just stains the bath. And then what the aim is just to mix it all together. And what happens is as soon as it's going to be like, it should end up being like like wet sand. That's the consistency much, you're going what, what for. How much oil did you put in there? 30 odd mil of mixed oils, 30 odd mil of mixed butters, uh, when do you 10 put mil, in? 10 mil of like, of water and glycerin mixed together. When, so when not can, a lot. When, when can the flavour go in? Yes. Whenever you want. Actually, to be honest with you. I'm ready. So. Mm. It's got right, a lovely so this sweet is, this, smell. This is Woody's Turf Alchemy USP. This is Will Cannabis Drive Turpins. This is the Smells Woody's incredible. USP. Oh. Turf Alchemy. I was just like tucked at the bottom. I'm in love. Oh. Oh. Sexy turps. Right, so. Just sprinkle it around. Oh, dude. Come on, it's the way forward. It smells incredible. Listen, if anyone wants us to make you the most expensive bath bomb ever made, we'll, we'll put gold flake in it, we'll do everything. Yeah, Give me like gold flake. Some gold flake. <laughs> Let's make the world's most expensive bath bomb. Well, the world's most expensive bath bomb. We've got terpenes. We've got terpenes in this. We've got 90 pounds worth of terpenes there already. Okay, terpenes. we've got about 150 quid's worth of CBD in there already. We've All right. Gold leaf. All right, so that's about three and a half grams of gold. No. So like an eighth of gold is basically throwing in a sovereign. So that's like 275 pounds worth of gold right there. Do you want to throw some hemp in there? Yeah, I think a little bit of hemp in there would be good. Do you want to put little flowers on the top or do you want no, to sprinkle I think it in? No, just sprinkle it in. Just sprinkle it in. Sprinkle some hemp. Let's do this. Sprinkle some hemp. Put a little bud in there. Just to show that we can bath bomb anything. If you bring me a Snickers bar, we'll put it in a bath bomb <laughs> for you. So yeah, the world's most expensive cannabis infused, CBD infused bath bomb. It smells incredible. The turps on this all is incredible. Incredible, incredible. Oh, that's got to be special. Yeah. I can't believe we've just managed to make a gold bath. This is uh, fun as hell. We have a fun life. What else can we throw in here? What's this stuff? Where did you put it in? Let's throw it in. This is like some bronze and more gold. I like it. Such a fun life. It doesn't get much better. It really doesn't get much better. Doesn't get much better. Yeah, look, literally I get to have gold bath. I mean, even Cleopatra didn't have gold in her bath. If you live in California, you can even throw THC into these things, or CBG is also fun for a bath bomb. Oh, can you imagine? I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. Can you imagine if there's CBG in there and we've got the CBN? It'd be lovely. Ta-da! Boom, with the little red and stuff, it looks incredible. I mean, from an from a, from a, from a almond point of view, what do you think that's? Obviously, I know that depending on the terpene that we're using in the terpenes, 
makeup. What do you think it's going to do for... Um... So, A, you've got the aromatherapy of it. So different terpenes are different directions. So let's say you're a pain sufferer and you need like a, an uplifting pain relief as opposed to subdued. So you need to get on with your day if you're a fibromyalgia patient or something like that. With a high dose of CBD and the right terminological direction and the right sort of ar you know, aromatherapy sort of smell could be quite uplifting and generating. Let's say if you're an insomnia patient, you know, and you need something to make you relax and unwind before bed, you can get that as well if you were to use something which is more of an indica profile. So, I mean, with the, uh, I mean, with, 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 with the vapes, I really get the response I get from the turpin and the CBD are fantastic. It's the fastest type of absorption. It's straight through your lungs, directly into your bloodstream, straight to your brain. The bioavailability and the, the, the activation time of cannabinoids is a lot faster when you're vaping. So would I be able to, with Woody, come to you and say, listen, I need a... Uh, Need a hundred bath bombs, yeah. special ones, yeah. in a bad boy box. Yeah. The glass I'm ting, I'm looking at beautiful. Oh, this, it'll cost money, but yeah, it's 100% doable. And I want you to uh, to make them and, and be my ask, 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 apply, ask apply the turp. Giftable product. I like that, proper awesome. My man, oh, my gym. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Super sick. Thank I just you, made bath bombs in your kitchen. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love that. The gold and ones, that and looks and incredible. Don't worry about the gold, let's talk about the turpene profile. Turp, smell them. It's just... They're incredible, oh, right? I can't wait to get in the bath with that. That is going to be... Uh... Yeah. Woody's, thanks for joining Taylor us. Taylor Manor. This one a special, special episode with my man. It's been a great day. So, and we've, we've done something that the man from Taylor Manor has never, uh, never done. Can I, can I make something else next time I come? Huh? Can I make something else next time I come? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. But... <laughs> but... <laughs>